Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about room resident frequency. Sounds crazy, I know, but it's got some interesting words in it. We're going to break those words out and show how they kind of all fit back together again. Resident frequency is a natural frequency in an object where it tends to vibrate at greater amplitudes. I don't know how many of you are old enough to remember the, the Memorex commercials where is it Memorex or is it live where they would tape you know, a, a person singing at a certain frequency, and then they'd have a, a piece of crystal or china or glass that responded to that resonant frequency. So the amp, they just increased the amplitude and the glass shattered. Well, you do it with a recording, you do it live. It's just energy, right? The room just sees, or the glass just sees the energy. So that's a good example of resonant frequency. Now, there's another term called Schroeder frequency that we want to think about also. Crossover area, 100 to 200 hertz, where the pressure in the room from the modes, because we're always having that large pressure, right, <clears throat> blends itself with the reflections, okay? So we get the pressure stops when the frequency increases, the pressure decreases, and then we get this area between 100 and 200 cycles where that falls into place. Well, why? Because if you look at the wavelength between that in that frequency range, it, it fits in the most small room. So that's where it gets. So we have Schroeder frequency and resonant frequency, all these frequencies, right? So you see anything that, that's correlated between one and two, okay? So rooms, they have a natural pressure sound level that they work at. When we design rooms, we design rooms to operate in certain SPL bands depend on usage. Live rooms are different than two-channel rooms. They're different than theater rooms. It's all different, but you can design a room to manage a certain frequency range uh, that you're going to listen at, okay? It's all about pressure. The amount of low-frequency treatment will increase with pressure, right? You have to have more surface area higher rates and levels if you have more pressure in a smaller room. Shorter frequency pressure reflection point. So <clears throat> we're going to decrease the pressure in the room and then in that 100 to 200 cycle range we're going to start treating for reflections. So the resident frequency of the room, the, the way it moves and vibrates and things like that, if you think about it, every system, everything is about vibration and resonances, right? I mean, you add all of this up, that's what it's really about. So the key understanding to get all of this stuff done and all of these resonances and vibrations and frequency range where pressure and reflections overact and overreact with each other all contribute to room resolution. And you got to address those issues. Because when you add it all up, this might be plus two, this might be plus one, this might be plus 0.5, whatever weight you give to all of these, they still add them up, then they start to get to four, five, six percent of the total room resolution, then it becomes audible. In our rooms, you know, you can hear little things easily because we've eliminated the big things that smothered the little things. So I thought this would kind of help the two frequencies, resonant and Schroeder, get you understanding of resonances and vibrations, which is, you know, what sound is all about, right? Molecules moving, vibration. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis so that'll help you. Thank you.